So um, let's let's start with the uh, uh, you know the don'ts. <laughs> so if you if you if you paint with a brush and then rub it, what happens? You know, typically you would draw a circle, call it an anzol, and then you make a print. You can even imagine the result. But what's interesting is that you create some um, some printing effect. <laughs> so I don't know if it increases the value of original or not. <laughs> but it's a mono print. It's only it's one. You know, you can one make much. one well one shot. Yeah. So let's just do that. You know, if you do a an Anzo and then you make it's it's boring, right? <laughs> you can imagine what happens, but you know, let's do that. Just for the record. <laughs> Okay, you can still control how much you want to pick it. See, yeah. I see that's interesting. Yes. Then that makes difference. Mm -hmm. If I don't do this, it's too complete. Now you can see it's an artwork mm -hmm. difference, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So I have a choice, um, second, second uh, decision to make. If I want the complete circle or not. Uh, because we do the answer with the imperfectness. Uh, it's a Zen uh, idea, right? For the moment. So you live at the moment. So every moment is uh, uh, it's art. <laughs> it's a wall moment, wall moment, we call it. I think you use the rough side, not the smooth uh, side. Oh yeah, you found the problem. Then we can. It's okay, got more text. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then we can. Um, so we can make another painting on the front. That's mm -hmm. what I. I yeah, I. I, I can show you. Uh, you can do it uh, on both sides. Like this. This piece. This is the front, right? This is the front. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this is the back. Oh, more texture. Yeah. So, um, the reason we do this is because. Uh, um, the two sides won't interfere, but help each other. You know, just uh, uh, so we can make it. Uh, can I ask a question? Uh -huh. um, you just used your ink um, mixture to make the circle. You didn't use any of the ink starch. Yeah, that's what he did. Here. Okay. Oh, I tried to demo it. Okay, here's a, a don't. If it gets dry, can you add water to it? No. How, no. no. Because if you spray water, it's on the li on the notes. <laughs> I already <laughs> put it in there. <laughs> yes, yeah, on the notes. So um, you can only take what you can try, you know, hard to to get it. But you cannot add water. That would destroy it. So that's your ghost print. Oh yeah, ghost print. That's the word. Mm -hmm. Ghost print. Yeah, it's a reflection of the. Uh, so, yin and yang or something. So, that's, yeah. so if you do this in a in less um, artificial, you know, or, or articulated way, uh, let it uh, just um, let the natural, let the process, you know, to do the work work for you. So you don't uh, you get better effect. Then you try to. Manipulate to control everything. Do you recommend having a few glasses of wine? <laughs> Do you recommend having a few glasses of wine before you Oh, to get drunk? Yeah. Of <laughs> course. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, that's how you do it. it just uh, uh, so I, I think uh, your grandchildren maybe do better. <laughs> <laughs> Just let them play, and then you pick you. But you know they don't have the eyes, the zooming eyes, to see which is worth uh, keep or finish. You know to sign. <laughs> okay, so your eye is more important than your hand in this case to to see it. And you can decide whether you want to hand this way or or that way or horizontal. It's a dragon or it's a something a snake. You know, so everybody will have a different uh, uh, finish. 
image. You know. So let's just keep it open. Okay. Um, this is the first thing. Okay, we would paint it. We can do that. And you can paint a mountain, uh, paint uh, valleys, or paint the rivers, and then just make uh, uh, this. But you don't have much time because it dries too fast, right? So you have to uh, do it quickly. So normally we use a large brush. We just uh, okay. And uh, it's watercolor. Uh, this is the the the, the ink cake. Ink cake, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> this, you grab it, yeah, the, you the can, leftover? Yeah, the grab okay. you, can, you, can use your, you can see that, I think the yes, you take one out. Yeah, it's a, a solid ink. A, oh. yeah, you can see that. Take from this one. So we can take one out, you can see. Yeah. So this oh. is the, we can just yeah. we can just grind it. Yeah. We can just uh, uh, grind it on, on the. You can hear it. Send it. Okay. Let me um, let me use some uh, other things now. We can use some. Uh, uh, yeah, stone greens. Which one? First or second? Uh, it doesn't matter. First or this is the third. Third. Yeah, this is the third. And uh, I I use a spoon. I think somewhere. A mixing. I think you touch my last color. There's a spoon. There's a spoon behind the glass. Oh yeah. Look at that. Of yeah, yes. yeah. You can. Everybody should uh, have one, uh, one, one, one teaspoon of uh, uh, each ingredient, <laughs> maybe uh, to start with. But on small ones, you don't need the that this much. So, so we just drip some. Okay, and. Uh, Maybe we should use different spoons for each color. So let's do let's do brown. Okay. Let me just use a little warm warm, warm water. Are those chip, are those chips or those Marie's? Marie's Marie's tube. Uh, some tube gets dry, so you can use warm water because it's gelatin. Uh, Based. It, it's a, oh, you can keep all the dry out yeah. colors now. So you, <laughs> I, threw, I threw them out. Okay. You don't throw it out. Okay. Yeah. No. You, you, can, it you can use the hot water to, to melt, melt it. it. I just melt put it, yeah, warm water. Yeah. Yeah. Very easy. So, Gay, okay. one of the advantages of using the Maries mm -hmm. and the colors that he's chosen is they tend to be quite opaque. Well, and I brought them today, so I'm good. <laughs> yeah. So you can also use, uh, I think, uh, do we need some blue? We can use some blue. Yeah, we some blue. This <laughs> Don't keep it simple. I think I like three color. colors is good. Uh, blue and brown is good complementary colors, mm -hmm. basic uh, colors. Mm -hmm. One more spoon, please. Thank you very much. So we have. Uh, <coughs> So we don't paint, right? right. Um, we can we can trip with a brush. Okay. Now, um, it yeah. looks like we are doing mostly landscape, but you could do flowers. Yeah, you can do. Um, I think it, um, most last time we did uh, lotus. Lotus is a very uh, good. So what we do is. Uh, we just use a piece of uh, paper that's not so absorbent. If you use the absorbent paper, it's not interesting because you will get what you see. Oh. <laughs> you want the bleed? Yeah, I want to blend it uh, first. Okay, this is a, a, a trick. Uh, you, this is a, a non-absorbent paper, and you can use the. Uh, Something like newsprint or newsprint. Uh, I would say brown paper. Yeah. Brown paper is good, and you can crinkle it and then just put it on it. 
you create more texture by doing that. You can crinkle it. You know, you crinkle it and then press it. Huh? Gong bi. Yes, this is a gong bi. Yeah, gong bi. Gong bi. Gong bi. Gong bi. Yeah. So the gong bi. I think the which side? Uh, the smooth <laughs> side. The smooth side. Okay. So uh, this is blind. Uh, I cannot see it. Right. right. I, I I guess my experience tell me uh, sometimes. It, oh, actually, it's nice. you can oh, see it. Yeah, yeah, you can see it. Nice. Just like crinkle. Uh, <laughs> maybe. Is this a size? Da. Like some, oh, maybe you, you got a lot. It still can be wet. Right. Yeah. Too wet. Too, too wet. Yeah. Too much water. It still can get through it. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. Yeah. So you you, you, you yeah you can you can do a lotus pond or something uh, based on this. Okay. And. Uh, I think one of your videos, you just held it up and let it drip too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now we can use the mm, mulberry paper. Yeah, that's not uh -huh. Let me just keep using this piece uh, okay. to, to, to see what happens. Mm -hmm. <coughs> So should we move this? Yeah. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, I'll try to create a, a water or something. So I, I can, I can, uh, you can use gloves. I, I, I do bring gloves, but I do enjoy, you know, bare hands. So if you care about the <laughs> at the toxin, you know, you don't want to touch color, you can use, you can use this. Yeah. Glass, yeah. yeah. You disposable glass. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let me just show you. <laughs> the gloves um, to be used. Okay. You can see, uh, I start to consider some composition uh, when, I, when I have uh, some effects left over, then I, I can go back to the first one, you know, try to, to, to create, uh, you know, now it's a moon with a mountain <laughs> as an effect, and, uh, or something, you know, you just try to, uh, sometimes I got, sometimes uh, uh, different. Could be a fish. Yeah. So no, it, it's different, right? So we may keep working on that. We don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> um, <laughs> so at this point, uh, you can you know, erase the the remaining uh, and start over again with the. Uh, so the plexiglass can be used over and over again. You just. Yeah, I don't put, put another color on it. Uh, yeah, you, I, I find myself uh, more uh, enjoyable if you, you know just west some uh, like we start over. I see. At some point we yeah. we got uh, bored, you know. Okay. Don't don't keep working. Then you, um, the point is you want to keep at least uh, fifty percent of the paper clean. Mm -hmm. You don't want to have everything, you know, uh, like a, yeah, a, a, a uh, what do you call that, uh, tie dye. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So it, it, it's a painting, it's not a dye, right? Mm -hmm. So you, you want to just uh, have some imagery uh, pattern to, to work with. So that's why I always start over again. Um, let's see, we can, we can explore. Um, um, uh, one more thing with the brush, maybe. Let's see if we do a landscape. If you paint something, you need to think in, in the mirror image. So if you, if this is your foreground on the left, mm -hmm. that is actually on the right. On the right, right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then the the the, the distant uh, mountain, you know, on the uh, opposite side. So when you make a print, if you try, if you see a real mountain, you have to flip it. Maybe see in the mirror or something. Uh, 
you know, in the car mirror or something. Um, you, you can, you know, just pick up what you like. If you, if you think it's, it's good, then we can use the, uh, let me see. Mobile number two is a good one. Obviously, this this uh, painting I I did is smaller, and we can use double side. You know, just you can. This is something new I just developed now. Because uh, if you want, if we don't cut it, you know, you can just do this. Uh, and then cut it. Get two paintings in one one shot. <laughs> So, so there, it's, it's all go with the flow. You know. <laughs> if the paper already cut, I don't have to do this. Yeah. But you know, since we have the double, why we don't just do this? Okay. So you, this is the. Uh, I was thinking to crinkle it. Now I think it's double <laughs> print. Okay. See, yeah. Uh, actually, I I I don't get anything on the first, but that's okay. We just need this much paint sometimes to, to, to start a painting, you know. So even a little bit of paint uh, is helpful for you to think. But, you know. Yeah. What we see here is a reflection. <laughs> OK, so that's wonderful, right? Yeah. Um, and this actually was not. Uh, First time I did this, um, in, in one plenary session, I did the painting on a plastic, plastic glass I brought to Sedona. And the, I only had this space to, to work mm -hmm. when I paint. And when I finish, I try to uh, cut off, right? And when I open it, I see this, and I just keep doing it. And mm -hmm. now it's kind of my uh, living room. Uh, <laughs> that, that piece is uh, just like this, this yeah. Oh, so this is the... The same idea. So you've got a mirror image this way. Right? So you can finish it later. And you can actually do multiple prints on that. If you want to add color, you can. I, I would uh, wait this layer to dry, but you don't have to. You can also do wet into wet. I can show you one example. I did that. Um, if you do it on a wet surface, let me see. Oh, this one. Yeah, this is a, I, 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 paint, I print it on the wet. I washed the mountain first, and then I, I print it. Uh, when it's damp, not wet. So you can still do it at, at some point uh, to create a foggy landscape. <coughs> so this is a painted uh, monoprint, right? But any questions so far? Just the wheat paste. Oh yeah, <laughs> I will try to wait for the afternoon. Should we oh, put yeah. something? <laughs> Do you want to try this I first? I have a question. Yeah. <laughs> Should you, uh, before you, you plan the, uh, this project, are you having some um, conversation in your head, at least a little oh, bit? Cool, cool. Good question. Um, I, I don't have a composition for this class, but I have a composition rules to share with you. Uh, so you do have some, yeah, something I think planned. in general, whatever you know, you do with a brush or anything in Chinese landscape. Okay, let me talk about the composition. Right. Um, when we compose a landscape, we should have um, three distances in Chinese. Mm -hmm. We don't call it a perspective because we don't have a vantage point. Mm -hmm. But there is a uh, depth in it, uh, we call it distance. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, sometimes, uh, most commonly, we know uh, flat distance, higher distance, or uh, deep distance, like valley or, or, or river. Or we call it yeah. the, the front ground, Pin middle yeah, ground, and the background. So you have three of them. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can, you can use that. Mm -hmm. Basically, you use different tones. Like, uh, uh, let's just finish this one with the uh, uh, with that in mind, so what we what, what we missing in this composition is the distance. I see. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in the distance, this is what I do. I think uh, you have to think the mirror. So this is the way we'll we'll make a print uh, because the paper is translucent. Right? So we 
we kind of yeah. we match it like that. Uh, that's why I keep one side clean. <laughs> okay, don't do it on the both side, right? And then you just do, um, just put in some, some, you know, some, 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 some mountain there. And I can, I can add a little dark. At this point, I'm more, um, more controlled. I try to not ruin the effect I, I got. And you can use the paper towel to, to, to clean. To, to clean the, you can you can take it out to something you don't like. Right? Is that good? Okay, that's just because I try to keep the mountain small in the distance. It's very common you paint a big mountain, you know, same same size, size. same yeah. size. Uh, so I try to make it far. Um, that's the idea. You, we we don't even paint the the real foreground in the Western painting sense. We don't do a big tree or partial tree or something like that. We put everything in the middle ground, mm -hmm. then go farther, you know, mm -hmm. more further, yeah. Okay, so we take the painting out. And we just match this. This is a, like a, like a wood cut block. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wood block printing, wood yeah. Block. Wood, Wood box printing. Yes, yes. Yeah. We call mukhe, right? Mm -hmm. And you can go just in, enough. Oh. <laughs> Quickly, you don't have to pick it. Pick up the color. Uh, yeah, oh, and it's still dripping. Well, that's good. Dripping is good. <laughs> yes. It will create uh, the the formation <laughs> with that. Yeah, just uh, let me hand it. Uh, yeah. Let me. But you can also brush, use a brush to paint the distant mountains too. Oh yeah, yeah. I try to keep consistency, consistency. Yeah, try not to do with brush. Assume I don't bring any brush. I didn't bring any brush today. Yeah, try, I try to make a point. Yeah. Why, why you do this? <laughs> if you can repeat what I do with a brush, wonderful. Yes. We, we call the best brush stroke the leaking wall uh, stains. Wulohen, how do you translate it? Wulohen. Or just like bathroom, uh, you oh, know, when stands. It's wet. Yeah, when it's wet. It's wet. Oh, yeah. So we got inspiration yeah, from, from, from uh, yeah, the leaking wall. Oh. Yeah. And yeah. your brush stroke should, should simulate that, not the opposite. Okay. Yes. And uh, we also call something like uh, <laughs> I don't know, and Sui Hua Sha. These are all natural patterns or textures we see, like the warm, uh, eaten word in the word. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so that means your brush stroke should be very. Uh, that's why we hold the brush straight and try to do this. We call it zhui hua sa, like it's, you use a stick to paint on the sand the beach. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. So the brush is not used like that. You're using the dot, yeah, the, yeah, dot the, uh, yeah, the, the, the tip center destroy. So this is all uh, based on the, the pattern we see in the uh, natural world or everyday life. You know, so, so we try to uh, create that with the, like a dripping, you know, <laughs> dripping wall or something, the effect. Yeah. Um, let's see. Okay, let's back to the composition. So now you understand there are three grounds, right? You can use different tones, different tones, and also uh, details are different. Uh, on the fir first ground, we need to, to do trees. We need to have contour. Uh, the tree has the root and trunk. And in the distance, we don't see the root. We only see the trunk without the branches. And uh, in the dis most uh, remote, there's no trees, mm -hmm. all right? So that's the Chinese uh, uh, composition. In a controlled way, you need to think about that. But in the, in the next way, um, I'm going to do the, the chaotic way. <laughs> you don't have to think of all the roads. However, when you see something interesting, before you do the print, please uh, think uh, 
about composition and leave enough room for yourself. Uh, so you need to make decision the sky and the earth, the T and the D, you know, something like that. Uh, and leave enough room for the sky or, you know, to, to, to paint. Or to, uh, so you do think about the composition and plan before you actually pulling colors and then... Um, I have well, a, you do I have an expectation, but not a plan. I, okay. I, I, uh, yeah, you always have something, you know... Uh, you don't uh, even have to have it. You don't have to, yeah. Actually, uh, I can ask a volunteer to do that. Uh, yeah, that, that was a test. Uh, yeah. you can, can, can you just put something... Uh, one teaspoon of uh, each one, you know. When, uh, let, let me just do that with a blind, you know. You but the final result, uh, when you uh, finish the painting, you still have to have a, a look at the forms and everything, yeah. and you make a composition. Yeah, here, of it. here, you know, I see. Uh, I try to make this stance not the same. Like, I see. Uh, this is, uh, I try to make a dance of sparse. You might say that, but eventually it won't be the <laughs> I know, yeah. it's not going to be that way. If you make a print like that, there's not much uh, worse you know, to, to That keep. looks like three gorgeous. Sasha. Uh -huh. Well, you, 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 can, you can add some random things, you know, just to, uh, and then we, let me use some more colorful, more dramatic, uh, a bit more spoons. Uh, I can just a uh, little, little, like an autumn landscape or something, like a bit more red. Some years ago, Western painting, they had a monkey. <laughs> they had oh, a yeah. monkey <laughs> do something and then they made um, a picture of it. <laughs> okay, I, I, you know, in my mind, I try to make this part uh, a, a, a foreground. If you put this on there, <coughs> doesn't make sense. Because on me, this is the, the earth side, right? The, the, the blue on top, you can put some green um, in the middle of uh, maybe somewhere. So the, the green. And the, you know, black is always uh, good in, in Sumi, right? So we, we can use more black. So this is, and you can make uh, uh, either small or bigger than you want. Because uh, if your paper is big, you can make small. If the, you, you, you start from a corner and then develop in a more controlled way. I have some painting I did in multiple, uh, I made, at least I made like a, uh, ten times, you know, I pick up the different trees and just create a pattern like that. I can show you how to do that. That's a controlled way. You can, if you have a good composition, and you just get it easy, you know, one shot. But sometimes I, I have to compose it. I can show you how I do, do that. Okay. So now I, I'll use uh, this. Uh, I try to keep it for the lunch. No, no, you don't. Okay. Now I uh, let me dilute it a little bit. Yeah, it's too thick. You know that. Um, it's got thick. Water. Yeah, we can dilute it um, with the uh, some hot water, or warm water. <coughs> you make it uh, like a skim milk. Now it's like yogurt, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now um, you can use this finger. You know it's. Maybe two things I know from my yesterday's experiment. I need to have like a thin yogurt, uh, the, the American yogurt or French yogurt, I forgot. No. <laughs> thin, not like a um, Greek. Greek. Okay. <laughs> not, not Greek. Yeah, not Greek. We do have starch in it. Yeah, cold. Yeah. So it's a very thin yogurt. Does that make a white in between? It, it, it makes trees. Well, it makes trees. Yeah, it makes the tree patterns. Oh, really? <laughs> Separate. Yeah, let me, let me show you the magic. And you can use another piece of, uh, actually I have the small one. Uh, I think I use the big one. It's fun to use, to make a big one. So, which one is the core? This is the course. You want to this? Um, this is my scar. Here, this yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. So let's do that. 
and you squeeze. Mm -hmm. Now you make a, uh, you, you will see this uh, uh, blobs. Blobs. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. And then you lift it from one corner to the other. Yeah. Oh, they are trees. Oh, I see. Keep it there. And it's just make a room. <laughs> And then I can go back to Okay. Yeah, yes. you, you, you get a take it take it home. <laughs> take it to another table or somewhere you can make another print. Oh, let me, let me just uh, let, okay. Let me put that exchange one. Exchange it. Exchange it. Yeah, yeah, exchange it. Actually, both of, both of them are still usable. Oh. So I try to make the entire composition with this. Uh -huh. What I do is I, I make this lighter on the back. It will be uh, far. So I need some contrast here. So I kind of. Oh, I can even paint with my finger, I find. Oh, that's interesting. So I can, I can. Uh, you see, this is kind of dark. <laughs> so you can, if if you don't like the the, the red, you, you just hide it. You you take it out. Take it out. Okay. okay. Yeah. Then you can do the background without worry about <laughs> conflict. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Oh, now you have the Oh, very good. Okay. Henry, how does the starch make the trees again? No, no, I just paint uh, with my fingers the the distance, right? the, the heels, the heel top, right there. Because it's on the back, it's not going to appear too much. It is like a gorgeous or something. You know, the trees could be um, stone pattern also. We don't know until uh, you, how you, depends on how you define it, you know. And you don't have to. It's a, sometimes I, at one moment I see trees, some, the other moment I see <laughs> rocks. It's all okay. It's all okay. Because uh, in a uh, real mountain, like a uh, mountain hua, mm. you know, the, the, the leaking trees on the rock, mm. yeah. also the, where the plant is, you know, also the... Like some plant grow in the rocks. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they all mix. So it's a... It's a uh, on the stone. Right. So it, it could be... Just leave it open, you know. So. Oh, neat. That's really interesting. What did the starch do? <laughs> you can do it without the starch, <laughs> then yeah. you will see. Well, you wouldn't, <laughs> have this effect. In a, you wouldn't have this effect without the starch. Okay. Uh, there are two things. One starch, one uh, another piece of uh, plexiglass. glass. You need two. Or you can use uh, transparency. You can use a uh, piece of, uh, you know, so, so, something to, to uh, okay, the best thing, do you want to learn what? Um, where is that? It's the balloon. A balloon? Yeah. Oh, you need that on one of your... Should I leave this until the afternoon? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's practice one. Okay, yeah. You already learned too much. <laughs> Let's take a break. Uh, oh, I mean, you take a practice and then come back for the balloon. Okay. Do you have a football? Two by two brush with you? Yes, what we have the brushes uh, with uh, Victoria. What does it look like? Yeah, you can go with Victoria's. Uh,